I just wanted you to think about this, the idea of you working, your legs working, his legs stretching, getting your positioning, thinking about how you'd want to ride, like if I'm riding him right now, how would I want to be sitting? So I do this all before I get on, so that it's already the vision is in my mind. Because when I have a vision in my mind, my body thinks I've done it already, right? And if you don't believe me, talk to like professional athletes that use like sports psychologists and what do they talk about visualizing so what better place than on the ground and so so much of the time people will say well I don't need groundwork with my horse well maybe your horse doesn't but maybe they do the second question about the mind pertaining to the mind of the horse would be does your horse understand what you're asking but it doesn't respond appropriately or like you'd like it to. Like husbands. Sometimes take out the garbage, okay. Does your horse do that? I'm kidding, you know. Um, but you know what I mean, right? So do they understand and do they respond appropriately? That makes a difference on if I get firm. It's interesting. The mind of the horse, we make it out to be some, it's, imp it's so important, it's everything, but it's not that complicated with those three questions. The life of the horse is that scale zero to 100. We talked about that. The body of the horse will come third. The body is super important and it's all connected. It's all connected. But the body will naturally come if you've got the mind and the life. So I need his life to come down a little bit more so I can mount up and then he waits for me. Now, you know why he waited for me? He waited for me because my groundwork, I, I climbed up on the block and I gave him a rest, right? So I patterned that concept. Now, if you get on your horse and your horse walks off, think about that. It's very significant. If you get on your horse and your horse walks off with you, and it does happen sometimes, but if that's a regular occurrence, your horse learns to get out from underneath you and it learns to go forward. It doesn't wait for you. And that's communication. It needs to wait. So you get a horse standing, and if you get on and they walk forward, chances are a lot of your ride, that horse is going to be forward because that's the first thing you did when you got on. You sat down and it went, whoop, forward. So you have to get a horse to kind of wait for you. Now, um... I'm on him. He's tuned into me. You know, I can see this in his ears. And so let's see if I could get him to look somewhere else. I'm going to have him look over to the right. Now, how I did that, that headlight thing that I did leading. So I took that headlight, and I could do the same thing over here. Take that headlight, you know, or over here. Take that headlight. Now, if I was lacking, if he's lacking a little bit in response, I could work, I could wiggle a little leg, and that would draw his ear and draw his mind. And it would be like if somebody walked up to you and you didn't know they were behind you and they tapped on your right shoulder and you go, oh, hi, right? So it's the same thing with my leg. If I were to tap on my leg, uh, use my leg, it would draw him. I could use my rein the same manner. So what I could do is I could work. He's really feeling for me here. And if I look here, he looked here. And, and so he was really going off of my front side my headlight, and where I was focused. That was excellent. So now we're going to work this side. So what I'll do here is I'll add a little rain, and I'll just sort of squeeze, release, or I'll, I call it pulsing. I'll pulse the rain, just like, again, tapping on his shoulder. Now I could use my leg, and I could have him look over here. I could use my rain to have him look left. Look at those ears came up or I could use my rein and my leg, and I could use that together. And that is where we start. So here I use rein and leg. So now left rein, left leg, right rein, right leg. I wouldn't mind his ears to go forward on those people walking. Well, good enough, I'll take that. I wanted that, but he looked over, I wanted him to look there, but he looked over here. Now how about over here? And so, see those ears? The ears point to where the eyes are looking, the eyes are looking at what that horse is most interested in. True or false? 
Makes sense. If they're nervous, they look at it, right? If they're curious, they look at it. If you're boring to them and we're insignificant to our horse, they don't look at you. They look everywhere else, right? So that's interesting.